In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can add a border around an image using Procreate. And I'll be showing you two different ways to do this. First, I'll be showing you how to add a regular border that goes around the outside of the image. And then I'll be showing you how to add a border that goes around the inside of the image as well. So let's get started. I'm going to go back to my gallery and open up my original image here. And to add a border around the outside of the image, we're first going to increase the size of the canvas. So I'm going to come over here to the Actions menu. And I want to come over here to where it says Canvas. And I'm looking for Crop and Resize. Now I'm going to tap on Settings up here. And I'm going to resize my document by adding a certain amount of pixels to each dimension here. Now the amount that you should add is based on the size that you want your border to be. So first I'm going to uncheck this link icon right here. Well, actually I'm going to make sure it's disabled because by default it's disabled like that. I want to make sure it's disabled. And then I'm just going to add 300 pixels to each, uh, each dimension here. Now that's based on my image. The size that you should use will depend on the size of your image. So I'm going to change this here from 56 16 to 59 16. So I'm going to write 5916 and hit done. And I'm going to add 300 over here, which would be 4044. So I'm going to type 4044 and I'm going to type done. And then I'll type done. Give it a second to do its thing. And now we have a larger canvas. So all we have to do now is just center the image up. So I'm going to grab my selection tool. I'm going to come over here to snapping. I want to make sure I have snapping enabled right there. And I want to set the distance to five. We want a lower value here. So once that's in place, let's close that. And now I'm going to take the image and just center it up here. And it's going to be a little difficult to get this snap to the center here. You may have to try it a few times. There we go. And now what you can do is you can deselect it. And just like that, you have a border going around your image now. And if you want to change the color of that border, you can just come up here to your layers menu and tap on background color. And if you change the background color, the background color will be based the background color will dictate the color of your border there. Now, if you want to use a pattern or some kind of image as your background, or as your border rather, you could just create a new layer and then position this layer. I'm going to hold a tap over the layer. I'm going to hold a tap over the layer to select it and then move it beneath the image layer. And now you can fill that layer with a color that you would like as well, or you could just paste an image in there. For this demonstration, I'll just use a color and you get the idea. So that's how you can add a border going around the outside of your image. Now let's have a look at how you can add a border going around to the inside of an image. So let me undo everything I did here by double tapping a bunch of times. There we go. Now we're back to our starting point. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to add a new layer here. I'm going to tap this plus icon and I'm going to fill this layer with whatever color I'd like my inner border to be. So I'm going to change my color back to white over here. And I'm going to take this color disc and just drop it into the layer. And now we have a white fill there. So now I'm going to resize this border here. I'm going to grab my selection tool and I'm going to tap on this corner node up here so we get this input box where we can change the dimensions based on a numerical input. I'm going to unlink these two dimensions and this time I'm going to subtract 300 pixels from each dimension. So for here it's going to be 5316. I'm going to type in 5316 and over here it'll be 3444. So I'm going to type in 3444 and I will type, there we go. And now I'm going to center this up on the page as well. And now I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to come over here to the layers menu. I'm going to swipe this to the left and tap duplicate. And I'm going to fill this one with a different color. I'm going to pick any other color. I'm just going to pick black, for example, here. It doesn't matter what the color is, just as long as it's different than the color you used originally. Excuse me, I'm going to subtract more pixels from this layer as well. So let me go back to my selection tool. I'm going to tap on this icon again, tap on that handle. And this time I'm going to subtract, let's say, just 100 from each dimension. So this one will be, uh, let me unlink these first. This one will be 5216. So I'm going to type in 5216. And then I'm going to subtract 100 from over here as well. So this one will be 3344. So I'll type in 3344. And now we're done just like that. Now it's resized. And now I'm going to snap this one to the center as well. I'm going to move this in like that. And again, this will be a little tricky. There we go. And now I want to create a selection around this layer right here. So I'm going to go to my selection tool. I want to choose automatic from this list right here. And I'm going to tap on that selection right there. And now I'm going to come back up here to my layers menu. I'm going to turn off the visibility of this layer. And I'm going to select this layer right here. Close out of that and go to the actions menu and select, actually go over here to add and then select cut. 
And once you do that, you can close out of this. And you can see now we have an inner border going around to the inside of the image there. And if you want to change the color of that, you could just change your color over here. Say, for example, if I want to use this color right here, I can close out of this now. I'm going to zoom in on the border here. And I'm just going to take this color and just drop that onto the border. And just like that, we've changed the color of our border. So that's how you can go about adding borders to images using Procreate for the iPad.